What is up guys? I'm going to show you how to make blank icons on iOS 13. Now I think this is pretty cool, at least for like the setup that I have going here. I have the top row of icons invisible. So I have one less row of icons essentially per page on my springboard. And I think it looks really cool. It makes it a little bit more functional, especially uh, when you're using your device one handed, you can actually reach all of the icons a bit easier with, you know, not using that top row. Uh, but you could make these icons and put them basically anywhere uh, within your springboard. So it's actually a really cool trick. And uh, some wallpapers are definitely going to work better than others when you do this. Uh, there is still icons there. They're just color matched to my wallpaper. And since the upper half of my wallpaper is black, they appear invisible. So this will work better with certain wallpapers than others. I actually have an entire album here uh, made of wallpapers that work with this setup. So pretty much all of these wallpapers, the upper half of them are a pure black. Uh, so I can switch between any of these wallpapers and I don't have to worry about um, changing the icons to color match it. So like I said, it, it really depends on what wallpapers you're using to make this work better than not. Uh, so that's what I am doing. I'm keeping that top row black just because it allows me to switch between a ton of different wallpapers that I do have um, on my tennis max as you guys can see here so if you guys want any of my wallpapers the link is down in the description but the first thing you guys are going to want to do in order to create these icons is put your icons into edit mode and swipe all the way over until you're to a blank springboard page and what you're going to do is take a screenshot of that page and we will use that to create the icons so now that you have taken a screenshot of a blank springboard page go ahead and jump into Safari and I will leave the link for this down in the description we're gonna upload that screenshot so just go to upload go ahead and choose file I'm gonna go into uh, my photo library I'm gonna go to all photos and I'm gonna select on my screenshot and click on done and then you just go ahead and click on send and now it's gonna basically render this um, this image and it's going to create icons based off of the colors um, of my wallpaper now as you guys can remember here I have the top row created which are all pretty much pure black and that's what allows me to switch between the different wallpapers but you can uh, create them for in the colored areas there is just a, a weird effect when you swipe page to page you can actually see the icons moving so keep that in mind but once you uh, get the wallpaper uploaded here, just create whatever icon you want in any position. And then as you can see, that's what that icon is going to look like. You click the little share button here, and then you go ahead and add to your home screen. And don't put any text in because you want it to be blank. Click on add. And now there is actually a new icon that you can't even see right here. It's basically invisible. I can click on it and I can go into edit mode. And as you guys can see, there actually is an icon there. Now, like I said, when you have icons in color region areas of your wallpaper, it's a little weird because you can actually see it when you swipe, as you guys can see over on the right there. You can see that icon, and then once it gets into position, it basically vanishes. So that's why I like having this top row, just because they're all um, pure black and they just are completely invisible. You don't see them, but still, knowing how to do this trick with creating these blank icons is, is pretty awesome. You could really make some awesome custom setups on your iPhone uh, and that's gonna be pretty much it for this video guys again all the links you'll need for everything will be down in the description hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely throw me a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here at the channel and if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one later